cooling system failure is the number one cause of engine breakdowns on the road. That's right, the number one cause. And a cooling system breakdown doesn't just mean getting stuck on the highway with a dead engine. Cooling system failure can damage your engine from blowing a gasket to warping a head or cracking a block. The good news is, is that you can protect your engine against cooling system failure by flushing your radiator and filling your cooling system regularly. So we're going to look at that process right here, right now. Welcome to the AutoZone DIY Garage. Whenever you're working under the hood, it's important to observe basic safety precautions. Always wear proper eye protection. Set the parking brake and be sure automatic transmissions are in park and manual transmissions are in neutral. To avoid burns, allow your vehicle to cool before doing any type of repair. Don't wear loose clothing or jewelry that could get caught in moving parts or might bridge electrical connections. And before you begin work, be sure the vehicle is parked in the level area and that the wheels are chalked to prevent any unintentional movement. Okay, so the radiator is cool. The first step is to slowly twist off the radiator cap to release any pressure in the system. Open the radiator drain and drain the coolant into a pan so you can recover the drained coolant. Contact your local EPA for approved facilities to dispose of antifreeze. Close the drain and fill the radiator with water from a garden hose. Next, use a plastic funnel to add chemical radiator flush from one of the products at AutoZone for that purpose. Did you know some vehicles have bleeders in the cooling system to purge trapped air? So check the manufacturer's filling procedures first as trapped air can cause lack of heat in the passenger compartment, excessive temperature variations, even engine damage. With the radiator top to the level recommended in your vehicle's manual, replace the radiator cap. Then start the engine and bring it to operating temperature. Turn the heater to high to let the water circulate into the heater core. Now shut off the engine and let it cool to the point where you can drain the coolant again, taking care to catch the fluid into the collection pan. You can make this job easier by using a three-piece radiator flush and fill kit with threaded hose ends that attach to the drain. Close the radiator drain, refill the radiator with water from a garden hose, and refasten the radiator cap. Repeat this process at least three more times, filling the radiator, running the engine, and draining the radiator. Basically, you want to repeat the fill and drain process until the water coming from the drain is clear. Now fill the radiator with the coolant mix that keeps your engine healthy. You can use one of the premixed coolant solutions found in AutoZone or mix yourself, but always refer to your owner's manual for the correct mixture of antifreeze and water for your vehicle. It's important, if you mix your own, that you never use tap water in your cooling system. Tap water contains minerals that will deteriorate corrosion inhibitors and cause lime scale and rust. Not good. Once the radiator is filled, fill the overflow recovery bottle to the level recommended in your vehicle's manual, often a visual mark that you can see. Fasten the radiator cap and run the engine. When it reaches operating temperature, the thermostat will open and release the coolant into the rest of the cooling system. At this point, top off your radiator and replace the cap. To keep your cooling system working properly, pay attention to the overload container whenever you open the hood and add coolant whenever it is needed. So that's the story on flushing and filling your cooling system. We hope this information helps when you decide to do the job yourself. And remember, it's always helpful to consult with someone you trust. For more details on radiator flushing or any other frequently asked questions, be sure to talk to the experts at AutoZone. Remember, parts are just part of what we do.